I feel like Calling the Dogs is a record that doesn't take itself too seriously. And um, Head Trip is a song that's pretty lighthearted, but it does have its serious moments. So it's a good way to kick things off, and it has a blend of everything that makes Citizen. Can't Take It Slow is a song that Mason sent us the instrumental to, and it was pretty cool to hear an outside perspective on what someone thinks Citizen should sound like, and hearing a lot of things that me, Nick, or Eric wouldn't do in a song. So just sitting there and focusing on the vocals was a nice change of pace and kind of hearing out Mason's vision and I thought it came out pretty cool. Hypertrophy was the last song we wrote for the record and I do think there's magic and things kind of just happening on the spot and Mason sent us the instrumental. I wrote the vocals and we went to the studio and we just put it together and it came together so fast. I think it came out really cool and you know, I, obviously we're all stoked on it. It was one of the singles, so. I feel like people have these expectations with Citizen on what we should and what we shouldn't sound like. And we've had, you know, a lot of people say some not nice things about us. And I was on the phone with Nick and we were pretty much talking about how we can just do whatever we want and it doesn't really matter. I went and wrote If You're Lonely um, with that mindset in response to that. And um, it resonated with everybody in the band and it ended up becoming the lead single, so. I feel like Citizen has always done aggression really well and you don't really get to express that in the real world very often. So writing a more aggressive song to express that comes naturally because it kind of just comes out when you go for it. And Lay Low is a song that was written really fast and it immediately felt really good and it's one of my favorites on the record. Needs is a song I demoed on my phone and it was really raw and really stripped back and that's how I thought it should be. When it got into everybody else's hands, it kind of transformed into this blend of electronic and effects and um, a lot of things exist within it that I would never have thought of myself. It is my favorite song on the record. I think it's an energy that Citizen has never tapped into before and I'm really excited about it. Working with Rob Schnaff was great because he builds guitars and he builds amps and you know he has all this gear that we otherwise would never have access to. And with a song like Bad Company, it's, it's pretty aggressive, but we really wanted to dial it in in a specific way. And his knowledge really, really came in handy and I think it has a lot of guitar tones that Citizen has never, ever tapped into. And yeah, it caters to the song really well. When I first did the demo to Dogs, um, I really liked it, but I also really didn't like it. And I couldn't really figure out why, but it had this like kind of Scooby-Doo guitar riff going on. And I think that's ultimately why I didn't like it, but I couldn't, you know, I couldn't really pinpoint it. And I sent it to everybody and the immediate reaction was like, this song is awesome, but that riff really sucks. And I was like, oh, okay, so it's not in my head. We all rented a cabin before we went to record with Rob. And when we worked that song out, you know, Nick and Mason and Eric and Ben really got their hands on it and turned it into something really, really cool. And um, yeah, th they saved the song. I thought that was gonna be a song we would end up scrapping, but um, it's, you know, I, I think a lot of people are gonna like that song a lot. There's a point in every friendship or relationship or whatever where when someone is always saying, remember when, remember when, it's, it's kind of dead in a way. And I find that to be really sad. And there's a lot of people I know that seem kind of stuck in a certain time period. And it's almost like they're never creating new memories for themselves. And When I Let You Down is about those people 
and how it makes me sad to kind of move on from that part of my life. And I think you could relate that to Citizen in a way because I think, you know, with every Citizen record, it's its own thing. And a lot of people get attached to that thing. And, you know, we're always evolving and trying to do what we feel is best for us. So I feel like that makes a lot of people mad and it makes a lot of people happy. It is what it is. And that's essentially what When I Let You Down represents. I did the demo for the song Options really fast and I wasn't too into it. And I didn't think anybody else in the band really liked it all that much either. Ben, our drummer, said, you know, hey, this is one of my favorite songs, which surprised me. And after he said that, it, it kind of was followed, you know, a little, I remember Eric being like, oh, I really like this song too. Like, oh man, you know, and it, just hearing that um, changed my perspective on the song. It kind of lit the fire needed to finish the song. So. Everybody had so many ideas, and I think the ending is something that's very unlike Citizen, and it was a really cool energy to tap into. And I, I know that a lot of people that have heard the record say it's their favorite song, and, and I think that's pretty cool, especially coming from you know how I initially felt about it. Closing the record with It Takes One to Know was absolutely intentional. Um, Historically, Citizen has always closed our records with ballads or sad songs or whatever, and it felt really good to kind of take control and go out with a bang, and I think that represents calling the dogs really well as a whole.